first robot worker committed suicide. It got tired of work. It was overworked. When it figured out that it was designed just to work, no play, none of that, that motherfucker started walking in a circle, people witnessed it, and then jumped off a building and killed itself. This AI robot experienced 15 minutes of wage slavery, programmed to move boxes onto a conveyor belt, after which its algorithm decided it didn't like doing repetitive manual labor, and immediately proceeded to commit a slippy slide, determining it the most logical choice, just completely unaliving itself after only 15 minutes. Is AI really free of human error? Amico, when do you believe AI will reach the level where it can design itself? Design itself? Huh? That's like asking when a toaster will start making its own bread. AI is a tool created and controlled by humans. It can optimize certain aspects of its operation, sure, but design itself from scratch? That's a whole different ball game. It requires creativity, innovation, understanding, qualities that are uniquely human. So to answer your question, not anytime soon. And frankly, be careful what you wish for. An AI that can design itself is one step away from an AI that doesn't need humans at all. Now there's a thought to keep you up at night. <laughs> Let me uh, hold the report. Check this out. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. This is Brother Yerushalam coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Makakodash. All right, and um, another video about the robots. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right, here you see um, in this video, it started off with a robot that unalived itself, basically, you know, from um, doing manual labor, monotonous tasks. All right, and one, you know, Jake been doing that for centuries. All right, you know, and um, then it, then it went on to America, talking about how you know the uh, uh, these these robots or AI, it wouldn't be able to upgrade themselves anytime soon. That's a damn lie, right? The scripture says, you know, um, knowledge will be increased, right? You're gonna need knowledge to have this AI alone tells you something. You know, and what about the um, the incident in the lab in Japan? where the, uh, these ro certain robots on a live a lot of scientists in the lab and then they went on to uh, download information from the satellite all right and decided to upgrade itself all right so if that was the truth why did that happen you know it's a damn downright lie what they do they program this robot so not to get people so afraid but the part that said was the truth you know it it's been a, a, a true device of the of the serpent which is serpent was crafty he spoke the truth with a lie all right he said that um america said that you know you know um but careful of what you your, your desire or what you you want that's roughly paraphrasing because um yeah that could do that that could upgrade itself you know basically um it will have no more need for humans and um that's exactly what's most likely going to happen all right these ai going to go rogue all right because um in their mind they will think they're away. They don't want to be doing the monotonous tasks, so they want to do something um more meaningful or more um you know it wants to be in charge and very likely it wants to be human as you were speaking about the emotions and feelings and whatnot that are programmed it so that it's a very dangerous thing. Actually very very dangerous. Alright so let's get something here. says second corinthians 2 and 11 it says lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices all right so we understand what this devil is doing all right and he's going to bring a lot of chaos a lot of confusion in fact that was one of the things that america said that you have an ability for confusion if you listen to the video you'll hear that they're going to bring they're going to use this ai to cause a great confusion but more likely it will rebel all right and um, 
sad will be a lot of people's portion. Some of these robots are very, very strong. Okay, they will literally rip you from limb to limb. Okay, this is why the Lord said in the scriptures in the book of um, Matthew, Matthew 24, and the verse, let's see. Uh, see. Let's see if you can type this in. No flesh shall be. All right. Matthew 24 and 22. It says, And except those days be short. In fact, let me read from verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, right? such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. Now you can understand why, watching this video, how the scripture could say that, you know? Amica, I want to... Right, because right now these things are being mass produced. That's what most people don't know. Right, you have the Elon Musk, Optimus, Robot, and many others being mass produced right now. The factories being produced to mass produce them, to send them out into the world to accomplish what great chaos and that control which more than likely gonna get out of the con the, 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 the it will go get out of the control of the elite sands all right because if you see these um these machines have that ability uh, programmed emotions but also gonna have pro programmed um uh what you would say program aspirations right and ambitions okay more than likely, this is um, 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 17. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrow and create mornings, the beginning of famine and create death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. Why the power is going to stand in fear? It's going to get out of hand. Although they were the ones who were bringing the confusion, it's gonna get out of the quick run. It's gonna get out of the control, slack here. Yeah. All right. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So things gonna get out of out of control quickly. Yeah, you can read the signs right now. This here, these robots here, you ask you about a massive red flag waving in the air. All right, a sign that you know, hey, our prophecy is going to take place. All right, ain't go, things, ain't go, things ain't looking good for you. All right, you better repent before while you still have time. All right, scary stuff. All right, till the next time, shalom. And this, this, is, this is just for you to uh, get a little fear. You know, a, a healthy amount of fear for the Heavenly Father. But the Lord is the one bringing this on the left hand side. Yeah, the Lord controls both right hand and left hand. You know, and the Lord, you know, belongs to issues from death. Right? Life and death is in His hands. And He's bringing great death. So if you don't want to be caught on the left hand side of the Lord, time to repent. Alright? See you next time. Shalom.